All right, so I'm recording, re-recording the last video, okay? It was supposed to be uploaded earlier, but it wasn't uploaded. The video is called Hug Yourself. Now, I know you might think that's a weird title, but the reason I decided to say this is because I had a very emotional moment with myself earlier today while I was affirming and I was doing my affirmations. I did tell you guys I was going to give you updates on my affirmations. I'm not going to give you an update until it's it hasn't even been a week, I don't think. I don't even remember when I started to affirm, honestly. So I'll when I feel like it's time to give you an update, then I'll give you an update. But basically, um, I had recorded a, a, a video on my phone, but apparently, apparently, it was supposed to upload and it didn't upload, okay? So, and I can't re-record it on my phone because, you know, I don't know if y'all can see that. Can y'all see that? Okay, there we go. Okay, there we go. Y'all can't see that. That's too much. That's too much sauce. Okay, so I'm basically trying to show you. It says that it's too much storage in my phone. So I had to delete certain apps because it's a certain limit, like, you know, gigabytes and stuff like that. This is the LG, you know. I'm not, that's my little back, that's my little uh, wallpaper. I'm not into iPhones. I had an iPhone. It's not that special. So anyway, um... A phone is a phone at the end of the day so uh what i wanted to say was this the reason i decided to name the video hug yourself is because i decided to hug myself today while i was telling myself i forgive myself over and over and over again okay and i was repeating my affirmations because i am on a mental diet and literally it made me feel like wow you know it made me feel good about myself. It made me feel good because um, I started to cry. I got very emotional. And the reason I got emotional is because at that moment, I knew that I was releasing the negative energy, how I was feeling about myself, the negative, you know, the, the doubts, the worries, the fears, all of those things. I felt like I was having a close connection with myself. And at that moment, I decided to text my therapist and let her know what was going on. And it was very eye-opening for me. And I decided that I wanted to share that. And I'm going to drop this down in my playlist, Chapter Growth. Because I want you guys to remember, I am not a motivational speaker. So please do not come to me or make it seem like I'm teaching anyone anything. You know, I do want to help people. Yes, that is the plan. And I do want to become a motivational speaker. However, there are certain things that I still have to learn and read about and learn from the greats of motivational speaking because I can't anyone they say anyone can motivate but really I mean I could grab a mic and go up on stage but then afterwards you know how can I really help people and that's something I want to do but at the same time I'm still growing I'm evolving as of right now into that person that I really am destined to become and I feel like I've been making a lot of changes and I'm actually proud of myself so basically, um, what I wanted to really share with you guys, I decided to share this video because it's very important, is because not only, um, it wasn't the fact of just hugging myself that made me feel good. It was really mostly, honestly, um, the fact that The fact that, excuse me, I felt a connection, okay? I felt this this connection with within. Because I've always been the type to love other people or um, give affection to others. You need a hug, I'll give you a hug, whatever the case may be. But in all honesty, in, you know, in all realism, I never really gave a hug to Alizé. I never really asked Alizé, how does Alizé feel? And I'm not going to have this video too short because I'm going to be honest with you. This room is hot as hell. And I'm not about to be sitting up here for any... I'm just going to get to the point. But it's like I never really got a chance to show myself like, hey, I love you. You mean a lot to me. Or hug myself and tell myself I, I forgive you. Because at that moment, I was letting go of that, that negative 
you know, that negative side. For so many years, I've been like, I've had this negative uh, image of myself. And I don't, like I said in the last video that I was, uh, that I had recorded, I don't know the difference between, or the full, the difference, the definition between a good person and a bad person. I'm not saying just because you do good things makes you a good person because I did good things, but that didn't make me a good person. I did bad things and that didn't make me a bad person. That doesn't make me a bad person. But what I can say is, is that the things that I did was wrong. I can admit that. I can say I effed up because I did. But at the same time, okay, at the same time, just because I've come to the realization now what I need to do is apply that action okay so I feel like that was a step because everything is is within it's within just like when you hear people saying everyone is you pushed out because it is if you I don't want to make this about manifestation like I don't want to make this about Neville Goddard but Neville Goddard did say if you persistent if you are persistent in something it will harden into fact if you assume just because it may not be right away it will happen so so many years I I would I would tell myself you were bad or you were negative or you were all these things without realizing that I'm assuming these things about myself so what eventually happens right so at that moment, I felt a relief. I felt an alleviation from pain. I felt good. And I want to say that to you who was watching this video, it understand that yes, you've done things. We've all done stupid things. So what? Okay? Okay? It's easy for a person to tell you to move on when you know that deep down inside you haven't moved on. But stay within the present because that was a grounding technique. Instead of me dwelling on the past, I'm not saying don't go back. What I'm saying is this, when you go back, don't go back to dwell. Don't go back to let no one make you feel like you're a bad person and you know that you've changed your life around. Because people gonna talk about you, people gonna say what they wanna say. But at the end of the day, that's what they that's what how they feel they don't know the new you they haven't experienced the new version of who you become and if they seen you or if they see or if they saw you or if they know you from a mutual friend y'all mutual friends whatever they are jealous they are upset because they can't bring you down they want the old you back i say this all the time they will never get the old alizé you would never get the old Alizé. And y'all don't know y'all don't know the old Alizé. You don't want to know the old Alizé. Because the old Alizé was out of her damn mind. But one thing I will say what I did like about the old Alizé was... <laughs> she wasn't so quick to give up, okay? That's one thing. Alizé, she... She made her mistake. She did, you know... I'm talking about she, like she another person. I made my mistakes. I made, I did some things, but when I really wanted something, I didn't give up on it. And sometimes, you know, with me, it was just always, you know, I got to have it, you know, even if it was a candy bar. I'm serious. I'm not playing. So anyway, um, no, I'm joking. So anyway, what I want to say is you okay don't be sitting up here dwelling in your past a lot of people will say well you can't i was told you can't tell a person that uh, uh their past won't follow them or something like that because it, it it shows up in the present that's only if you allow it to if you intention if you are sitting here allowing for people to come or things to come back and you know that they're haunting you, that's you making a choice. Everyone has a choice. You have a choice to whether you want to continue to allow these people in your life. You have a choice whether you want to continue to, you have a choice. So you can't sit up here and say that, 
oh, you just, you can't say that. Because honestly, it doesn't make sense. I feel if you allow the past in, you allow it, the past, they say it repeats itself. If you allow it to repeat itself, then yes. If you continue down the same road, if you continue to have the same habits, then hell yeah, the past is going to repeat itself. You're going to run into the same people. You're going to run into the same situation until you finally get tired. And I really think one thing that I've been noticing is that I am tired. I am tired mentally. So when me personally... I don't have time for this to freeze. I decided that I was tired mentally because I was tired of the same, that same, those same thoughts, the same emotion. And I, you know, I understand. I could, I, I'm going to be real with you. Affirming, I have over, was it, is it four sets of affirmations? I say every single day. I've memorized these affirmations. I say them every single day. And I'm not just saying them because I want a manifestation. I'm saying it because I want to change my state of consciousness. So that's why I affirm. When I go to sleep, I affirm while I'm going to sleep. I wake up in the morning, I affirm. The subconscious freshly up, I affirm immediately. I put on some little meditational music, I start affirming. I affirm and I affirm over and over and over again because it is repetition and i need to be i need to do it i need to do it for myself okay so um yeah basically what i'm saying is i'm i was getting tired of those old habits and ways it didn't it didn't lead me anywhere so i decided to really you know when i was affirming i really i, I let it go when i said one of my affirmations is I forgive myself and I love myself. No, I, I forgive myself unconditionally. And I was saying that over and over again and the tears just started falling. But it was really an emotional moment for me because it was me really being vulnerable with myself and just really saying, look, I forgive you. You may have done stupid things, but I forgive you. And you were not that person that you used to be. So anyway, I think this video is long enough so I'm going to end it right here. I'm not going to go into the intro because I'm really irritated. I had to sit here and record this again. But look, you just got your daily dose of Legend Z. So I hope you enjoyed the video and you guys have a good night.